Every day MapleStory M players purchase crystals, packages, and meso in order to progress their characters. A common question for the player base, is this game free to play friendly? In this series I will take a fresh account and progress it to endgame. I will be applying the following rules to make this series as interesting as possible. Number 1. No spending any money on this game. All in-app purchases are off limits. Number 2. I can only equip equipment that is acquired by fusion or boss drop. If I fuse an Utgard mythic weapon, that will be my endgame weapon. It would be too easy if I purchased a godly gear from the trade station. Number 3. I can only purchase gear from the trade station to repair any broken items. There is one exception to this rule, that is a unique secondary weapon. At some point I will need this piece and will not have the crystals to pull one from a box. Rule number 4. No leeching. All leveling must be done with autoplay or manual battle. This is MapleStory Fuse to Play. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Fuse to Play, my MapleStory M series where I take a fresh account and push it to endgame. In this episode, my bishop makes a lot of gains. I fuse my unique weapon, I break down link skills, and I give EXP tips on how to gain more EXP per week, so to get more out of your hot time training and all that. Uh, this week has been really eventful. The progress that I've made on my bishop from this episode compared to the second episode is really massive. And make sure you keep following along, like the video, comment down below, give me tips, I'm looking for tips, those are always great. And make sure you subscribe for more content so that way you can see where I take my character. But this episode is really exciting. A unique weapon to a endgame player isn't a big deal, but to a player who is first starting out, a unique weapon is a huge jump in power compared to the epic weapon. And eventually I will get it to Legendary and eventually, <laughs> way down the road, I'll get it to Mythic. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, I'm going to be giving you guys a really good tip. Um, I know that everyone does a lot of training and you can actually get 45% additional EXP. So what that means is for a hot time, if it's 30%, you'll be getting 75% EXP instead. By doing things such as your legend Legends Return. So Legends Return, all you have to do is play a ranked game once and you will be ranked. And what that does is it gives you a season reward for that week. So um, it, res it resets every Monday, so ideally you want to do it before Monday. But a lot of people just do it once. So you come to the rank and you hit Claim Reward and they give you these currency points for the Legends Return rank reward. So I'm going to claim that. And from the shop here, the game shop, there's a Legends Return tab. Here there's the Legendary God of Battle Metal. And for those of you that don't know, it doesn't give any stats, but it gives a set option, which is one set. It's so silly. And it gives 15% EXP. So that's an additional 15% right there. I'm going to buy it right now. And secondly, another free EXP item that you can get is from Mulong Dojo. So if you do Mulong every day, and at the end of the week, there is also a weekly reset. So it gives you a reward based on your rank. Even if you don't clear it, just do it. You get points. And what you can do with these points is you can get these pendants over here. And this pendant gives 15% bonus EXP. I don't have enough coins for that. I don't even have enough coins for the 10% one. I'm 22,000 right now, so I'm a little short. But I can buy the 5% one, and these last one week. I'm actually going to buy this one because why not? So I'm going to equip these to my character. They don't really increase your power. They, they only give you additional EXP. And if you're doing a lot of training, it's really efficient. So right now I'm getting a bonus 20% EXP. There we go. Right now I'm getting a 20% bonus EXP from my pendant, from my pendant and my metal. So that's 
<laughs> that's a really good tip. And last but not least, there's this thing called Kerning Tower M. Kerning M Tower, which they recently implemented. What you basically do is you clear floors and it gives rewards. I'll close this again. It gives coins, um, a specific currency. So you ideally want to go as high as possible, but be careful because there's current there's re entry requirements such as max level, max attack, max star force. So my early free to play account is not going to have access to a lot of the higher floors. It's only going to probably access level 10 or something like that. But you can go to shop and guess what? There's another 15% EXP ring. This one lasts one month, so you need to grind it as fast as possible and purchase it right before the month is over because it resets every first of the month no matter how many days. So altogether, you will have 45% bonus EXP. Additionally, if you really wanted to go super try hard on EXP bonuses, you can actually get a second Mulung Pendant. So that's an additional 15% on top of that. So overall, you can get 60% bonus EXP. And this is my Fusible Episode 3 tips on EXP. Alright guys, I want to talk about an easy tip in order to gain a lot of power really fast. And it's called Link Skills. Link Skills are basically skills that your character transfers over to other, other characters. So for example, the shade, like as you can see, it says shade right here. And the required level is 70 over here. And I have a 1% chance to stay alive if I, like if I basically die. Um, this one's kind of useless. <laughs> I, only mainly, I mainly did it because of the event, but something like luminous is 2% magic damage increase so how you do this is you level a character up to level 70 and you're able to transfer link skills eventually when my luminous hits level 120 i'm gonna get a four percent damage increase instead um, a lot of the important ones are evan for example evan is two percent and four percent bonus exp and bishop my bishop gives four percent bonus party experience so that means whenever i'm training instead of you know, hot time and all that, I gain an additional 4%. So link skills are really important. I did Thunderbreaker because it gives HP increase. And I also did Fire Poison because Fire Poison is an additional 2%, 4% on magic attack, which it might not seem like a lot, but it adds up definitely. So make sure you look at which link skills um, are really relevant to you. I would really recommend Thunderbreaker. Um, HP, generic HP is really good. It helps you survive at higher like training areas. Elven Blessing for the Mercedes is a staple and Bishop is a staple because both are 4% EXP increase. So yeah, this is the link skill tip. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out already, I already talked about early game leveling and early game progression in the last episode. So if you want tips on how to level up fast to get all these link skills done, make sure you check out that video. Alright guys, I'm on my free-to-play bishop. I am currently level 113 and I've been doing enough elite dungeons and grinding enough meso in order to get my unique weapon. So in this segment, I'm going to be fusing for my unique weapon. I prepped the... I prepped the, So in order to fuse an item, for those of you that don't know, you need two unique items or two items of the same um, same rarity. So in my case right now, I'm at Epic. So you need two max level equips in order to rank it up, or in order to, in order to attempt a fuse. So right now, this is my wand. It's Star Force 15. I was very fortunate to get it to Star Force 15. And ideally, before fusing, you want to get the highest possible Star Force. It just happens at epic it's 15 because after you fuse you get one less star force so i'm gonna have a unique star force 14. it costs 1.6 million to fuse i'm at 45 million been doing a lot of farming at that snake area and that st2 you should check out my second episode if you want tips on how to farm meso miso all right i'm gonna press fuse and 
the outcome that it comes out with is RNG based. It, um, what that means is it can be either Ellie Ghost, Jane, Utgard, or Bryzer. I am fine with any equipment besides Bryzer because Bryzer, I don't need any boss attack and that doesn't help me level up. So here I go. And it's lagging. I got a Bryzer. It's a graphical error, but. Alright, well. Bryzer 1, level 14. This is what I get. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna max it up, max it out, and I'm gonna cut into that. Alright, I'm about to max out my 1. This auto select button is really OD. And hopefully that's enough fodder in order to max out my one. Alright, nice. It's so level 20. So I was able to achieve this because after you fuse your your item, it's tradable. So even if you've equipped it, you don't have to use scissors on it. And I was able to farm all the gold all the all the miso from star um, ST2 and snake area. And all the powders that I used for fodder was off of farming elite dungeons with my alts using the free-to-play engine. Um, so if you didn't watch my second video, the free-to-play engine is basically farming elite dungeons with your alts. And using those powders on your alts, they're not tradable. All my alts are unlocked the level 85 elite dungeon. None of them are at the 125 one yet, but once I get to 125, they are going to be, I'm going to be getting a lot more powders than what I am now. And time to throw on my unique wand. My first fuse to play item. This wand will eventually turn, I will fuse it for a epic, I mean for to legendary and eventually I will fuse it to mythic and max it out. Same strat, same everything. After equipping it, I'm at 33,000. This is unbuffed, so let me hide my video but yeah this is my this is where my bishop sits right now and I hope you guys enjoyed my fusion I'm really happy about it happy to have a unique item on top of my bishop so alright guys this is the end of episode 3 of fuse to play and I am going to be showing you the current iteration of my bishop as of episode 3. So right now I'm sitting at level 126, my star force is 85, and my attack is 63,000. I'm going to close my webcam so I can show off the gear. Um, so I fused the unique weapon and got 14 stars max level. I flamed it also, so I got magic attack skills at EXP, which is an additional 143 attacks, so that's pretty good. As you can see, all my epic armors and all that, and the shoulder I opened up last time. My meso is sitting at 44 million. All this is mainly from farming at ST2 or Snake Area. And yeah, this is where my bishop sits at right now. Next episode, I'm going to be going over Star Force 80 and why that map is so efficient and so good for leveling, especially for mid-game progression. Be sure to comment down below any free-to-play tips that you may have for me. I'm working on my Rex earrings. The hard part is it takes forever to find a party and takes forever to save up to buy it. So make sure you subscribe for more content and drop a like. Comment down below and catch you on the next one. Peace.